In this video, we will learn that how we can integrate our website with eBay and listing product from website to eBay. So integrating your website with eBay, you should have eBay seller account in place. And once you have eBay seller account ready, then you come back to your website and come to this dashboard and then you click on e-commerce management go to account integration once you click on the account integration there are several options click on ebay store this button then it will take you to this page and this page it is means if you do have your ebay developer account then you can use your own api but if you don't have ebay developer account it's not a problem at all you can just simply come to this button where it says use gt ebay api i just click on it and then of course you choose the country as uk and then currency as pound or gbp and here you need to add a paypal email address and also you need to enter a postcode which is connected with your paypal account once you enter then you click on update and connect button once you click on that for me it automatically connected and which is you can see here on the ebay store area it shows one green bar and it say disconnect it means ebay account is connected with my website but in your case it may take you to the ebay and you need to log in to your ebay account and then it will ask you a permission you just need to click on agree button then it will take you in here and once you are here it means your store is connected with your website and for any reason if you do not want to keep this connection just simply click on disconnect from ebay then your website will be disconnected from ebay but anyway as we already completed the ebay integration so now let's see how we can list some product from our website to ebay so I go back to e-commerce management and then go to product then here let's say I want to list this particular product on eBay then I just click here the button called sell on eBay if I click on sell on eBay now wait a little bit now you can see this item is here now here you can see the product stock product stock it says 50 you can say 2 or 3 or 5 whatever number you want the reason is if you say 50 but if you have a new ebay seller account because ebay always give you a very small number of limit then you may not be able to list a high number of product so it is better say a small number let's say two three or five then you may think that if i just say five product maybe if someone buy then you need to do the process again but actually you don't have to do this same process again once someone buy from ebay then your website going to be listing automatically another two product on ebay so it looks like this two is like a never-ending two so anyway now here you can see the category i need to choose a category let's say this is a health and beauty product health and beauty product and once you choose a category if you see that this product is not going to ebay you are getting some error message that is definitely belongs to your category so if any category giving any problem then make sure that you choose your category name and then there are wholesale job lot but of course in this particular category i will find the right category other health and beauty product and then here it says product dispatch time then product dispatch time i always say one day because i am using amazon prime so it's gonna be pretty fast and then here you can see it automatically generated a very nice ebay template now my website theme is green color so the theme came automatically green but for any reason if you want to change the template color which is you can change from here but in this demonstration i am not changing it i am just simply gonna list the item and to list it i need to click on update button and once i click on update then you see my item is listed to my ebay store and here you see the ebay icon if i click on that ebay icon then you see this item came to my store and also this template showing here and 
that's it the listing is done so now important one thing that if you want to remove this item from ebay you actually do not need to remove from your ebay store if you just simply go back to your website dashboard and e-commerce management then go to product and here you see one button called product selling on ebay it means that the item are here under this page means those all item are already listed on ebay so if you delete the item from here this is going to be deleted from ebay as well so let's click on the delete button and click on ok then you see this item has been deleted from my store and then if i go to ebay and you see here right now is a buy now button and then if i refresh then the item will be out of stock or end listing so this is how we can integrate our website with ebay account and listing product on ebay i believe that you guys have all the answer that how you can create the account and then how you can import product then how you can promote the product on social media then creating content using type of tool also how you can list the product on ebay so these all package i believe are completed now only one matter which is how you can customize your website and design the website so for this reason i would suggest that watch my next video where i am particularly discussing about design and after all if you guys need any help we are going to organize a face-to-face -face training in our london office where you are more than welcome to learn more in detail and get success on your dropshipping journey thanks for watching